Hello there and welcome back to Satisfactory, yes. We're back on Satisfactory once again, going to be continuing our single player playthrough, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so, if you want to hear last time, we built this uh, massive bridge uh, all the way across the Rocky Desert. This is a train bridge, it's got our train tracks on top of it, so, yeah, just right up here. The train's gonna go along here and uh, whatnot which is uh, pretty nice. It goes all the way back to the edge of the... Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. Uh, it goes all the way back to the edge of the rocky desert there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we did last time was we... Uh, oh, and we imported all of our uh, all of our blueprints from the other game into this one so that we could build... so that I could rebuild this. Essentially, this is the same as if it was... It's very similar. Uh, to where it is on uh, the multiplayer save, which we'll be playing later, too, so that should be fun. <laughs> uh, finish that freaking high-speed connector factory, jeez. But yeah, it goes all the way back here. I think there's actually a train down here still, just hanging out. Let's see. Nope. Okay. There's a train down here, though. All right. So, um, yeah, basically this entire train line is so we can get oil to our plastic and rubber factory. We need so much oil. <laughs> we need 6,000 oil a minute, so, uh, and we are pulling 3,400 at the moment, 3,450. So, yeah, we, uh, we need to get to that 6,000. Hopefully this will help us do it, or at least this will help us get closer, uh, at the very least. We're also going to attempt to build an oil tower along with our train station down here. There's going to be a 10 cars train station, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and um, get down to the end of it, and let's uh, let's start our planning. Alrighty, now down here at the other end... <laughs> it takes forever to walk down here, it's crazy. Uh, we need to... Um, let's see, I think we need to go one more, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go one more. It just, I'm looking where that oil spot is right there, and I want to avoid it. And you'll see why here in a minute. But, let's see. Uh, blueprints. And then we need... It's like, yeah, I didn't build this. Okay. Uh, blueprints, and then we need... This got reorganized again. No matter how many times I organize this, the game always unorganizes all of my blueprints. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, what if we add a category? Uh, and then... To add a subcategory, press the edit button. Uh, and then add a sub. Yeah, let's add a category as... Bridges. Okay. Or did I... Oh no, I need to name it. Bridges. And I'll select the icon. They're usually train bridges. Walls. Yeah, we got. Oh, it keeps. Uh, yeah. So. There. Can I not do that? No, I don't think I can do that. I can't edit. I can't edit it that way. changes. Can you not, like, click and drag these? No. Add subcategory. 
No. Okay. So I guess you can't do that that way. Yeah, I can't add anything into the... Interesting. Am I doing this wrong? Probably. Anyway, I don't really care. <laughs> Trust bridge A... No. Trust bridge... Uh, A-1. That's the one we want. That changes the blueprint mode. Alright, so we'll go one more bridge. Oh, my voice is already cracking. Man, I haven't even got started today. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Okay, so then I want to do... Uh, so basically what I'm trying to do... Let's see. I actually want to put an extractor here. Oil extractor. Yeah, that'll allow me to see exactly where everything's at. Get rid of you. I forgot I had a gun. <laughs> I just, we just got this thing. So. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, the only problem is, well, I don't need the object scanner on me all the time. Heal with some nuts. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I'm gonna be doing like a uh, a roundabout type deal. Oh, I'm eating nuts <laughs> when I don't need to. Right. Let's put this here. I think that's it. Okay, cool. Yep. Very good. And then we need one of these. Get the right height. Yep, sure looks like it. Ah, I don't know if I can move it in that far. Uh, hmm. If I could move it one more, that'd be awesome, but the game doesn't allow that. The game likes being um, annoying. If I could remove like a bit of this, I might be able to sneak it in. Aha! But that's not the right height, though. Was that it? Is that the right height? It is not. I think it. Thought we had it. Gotta remove a bit more. <laughs> Just doing surgery over here. Uh, I think I keep forgetting I can do this. Uh, okay, that's is at the right height. So then we'll head up here. Two, three, four. Okay. Bang. Alright, cool. So basically, I'm creating an intersection via the bridge, uh, via using the bridge, so. Um, so then, what I'm going to do is I'll get rid of. Okay. So I'll get rid of that and that. So can't use them. That one. That one, that one, and there's one more in here somewhere. I want to get rid of the half piece. 
Actually, these should be just four meters, huh? Yeah, these ones should just be a four meter. Just a four meter foundation. Okay, that works. Then we gotta get rid of all of this. Draw that. Oh yeah. Draw from this side. Actually, no. We're gonna have to redraw this entire area right here. Yeah, yeah cause the tracks go right underneath this piece. <laughs> I'm trying to be very careful about what I delete here. Just making sure to only delete the sections that we need to. Okay. So there's all that. And then we need to create an intersection. Section one, two, three. One, two, three. There we are. Go this way. remove a bit more <laughs> a bit more than uh than I thought okay so those will have to go um yep these will have to go too Deleted something I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, I did. It goes like that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yep, that won't have to go as well. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> Moving, uh, removing the same amount of bits. There we go. Okay. On this side. That's done. Now we gotta do the foundations on the outside. That looks kinda cool, actually. <laughs> actually, it looks really cool. Like that. Then we just remove these. And then I just carry this. Foundations. Two meter. Now the plan, how am I going to do with this? Um, so we do a one meter, and then we go bang, bang, right? And we drag it across like that. Do the same on the other side. Okay, cool. 
And then we just do the same with these, don't we? Yep. Two. That should be all we need to do, I would think. Yeah. Shouldn't need to do anything more fancy than that. It does look a little weird. Hold on. Let me go to I'll try this. Let's put this put that there. There we go. Let's move it over. Uh Actually, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Maybe that one. Yeah, it does look a little better like that. Not too much better, but it does look a little bit better. Like that. And like that. Okay, so that's the bottom side pretty much done. Um, now we just gotta do this. Okay. The fun bit. Did I do freeform? Alright. Put a square here. Uh, can't really do that, Chief. <laughs> You can put it like that. So it's like it's holding in the rail, maybe. Just snap to it. Ah! It won't let me... It won't let me do the thing. Why won't it let me... Snap to that? Like, sometimes these beam connectors just don't let you snap to them, which is... Really weird. They just, they just do that. And they don't want to... I don't want to go any further. It's very strange. Okay. Why does this side touch the rail, but that side doesn't? It's very strange. Oh! It's not straight, that's why. Now that one goes all the way over, but this one doesn't want to. You can't do default because, see, it doesn't want to... Only if you go way over here will it do that. Oh, wait. It'll do that, though. Okay, if we get it just right. <laughs> there we go. I actually like doing that better. Now, this one does have to be freeformed. Same all the way across. Yep. There. Cool. Then we just gotta put some beam connectors on this. I guess it's okay if it touches the rail. I suppose. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. So there's that, and then I want to put a beam connector right in the middle. Hey, where's the middle? Yeah, that right there is the middle, but it's not... I, I'm gonna have to put it on the actual thing. That'll actually help us, because then we can just do this. Oh. Oh, how weird. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. <laughs> here okay so now that that side is done let's go ahead and see what we can do about this because obviously we got to do something I mean we don't necessarily have to do anything we could just leave it like this but uh, I'd rather do something so if I remember right it's uh, eight is where we need to put these eight meters like two foundations tall and then I want to do yep I want to go all the way over right into that as me testing it just a little bit because just making sure this plan was gonna work uh, okay oh perfect So that works there. Then, of course, we'll put a beam connector and a beam connector. Alright, but, uh, you know, you could believe it. You could believe it as supports. Maybe. Sadly, I couldn't, use, I couldn't end up using this. I may end up deleting these. And then just going straight across. To connect to that one. Do some bit of free forming. No, nope, it's not going to let me. Ah, that's fine. We'll just remove it or put it back. Mm, nah. I mean, on the outside, you're gonna you're gonna notice, right? You know what? Let's put it back. Okay. Alright, so then, now that we've got this figured out, let's go connect these up. That one there. Yeah, the signal's kind of in the freaking beam, but not much I can do about that, I suppose. This really didn't end up where they needed to go. It'd be nice if I could delete them, like if I could just come up here and delete the actual signal itself. That would be really cool. But no. It's fine. Okay, these signals are probably going to have to move, yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to put the signals back here. As long as the game will let me, of course. Uh... We need to do another bridge. What is that? 
Oh, there's something here. So many rocks! A lot of explosives. What? Oh, you... I got tickets. I do not have tickets, actually. I spent all my tickets. Um... Uh, crap. <laughs> that means I gotta do this. Well, that'll give a chance for them rocks to disappear anyway. So that... And then ticket machine, awesome sink, power, over pocket. I should always keep biomass on me, I think. Just one stack. So yeah, from here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to slope the tracks down and start heading that way. Uh, alrighty, that looks good. So now I just got to make my roundabout. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to have to rebuild this probably a hundred times to get the sloping correctly, but that is okay. Um, but yeah, basically, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here and then I'm going to slur- I'm going to circle- uh, I couldn't say circle. I'm going to circle around to here and then I'm going to circle back around probably in between either that bridge or that bridge. I'm going to try to do the biggest circle I can, the biggest kind of- like, you know, like a turnpike, I think they're called. Uh, gosh, I haven't- uh, I haven't lived in a big city in a long time. But yeah, you know those big turnpikes where you- you literally- you almost do a full 180. You do- you do three quarters of a circle, basically. Uh, and you go underneath, um, by the time you exit, you're already underneath the bridge you just came off of. Uh, because we're going to be putting our train station over here somewhere, so. Uh, and I don't want it to... I don't, I, and I, the reason I'm doing the turnpike is because I want to do that. I could have it go this way instead, um, but there's a lot of water out that window. I'm just like, eh, you know what? I'll just have it come out this way. And then we'll put the train station either where the trees are or something, something like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I think it'd be really cool to go underneath the bridge we just came off of. You know, like underneath this. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, yeah, that bridge doesn't look too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's not too bad. Uh, but it's not great either. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so yeah, let me build that turnpike real quick. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I'm not gonna. I've already showed you guys how to do like those kind of circles, so I'll just do it myself. Uh, so we're running out of time already. Okay, so it's been a little bit, um, and it did take me a while, but uh, yes, I have um, finally done this. Uh, this roundabout isn't working. I tried to get it to go here, um, and it was too steep. Um, it was uh, over two meters steepness. Which you don't want to go over two meters with a train. Usually, it's going to slow it down. One meters, uh, one meter is a good plan to go for, but if you have to do two, it has to be two, but no more than two. Um, so then I tried going here, uh, which, but the only problem with that, it ended up with, uh, it ended up me running into this mountain. Um, so then I decided to curve it one meter, go down here, flatten it out to go up and over this hill. And then we go back down again to one meter to then go into 
here. I'm not happy with this, but it's the only real way. If I had taken this intersection and put it, say, here, uh, right where the train's sitting, if I had put that intersection here, or maybe here even, like here would be, here would have been a great spot. Uh, then it could have went just went around this little hill and then down in, um, and it would have been much better looking. Um, the most it would have, would have ended up was, was over here, but yeah, they, I can't remember where we did the turnpike last time. I think it was, I actually think it was here-ish. I think it was here, but it was like way higher. Um, but that's okay. This does work and it doesn't look too bad. So now we're just going to put the supports in. Yeah, like I said, it... It's, uh, you know, it had to, um, it had to flatten out right here just to go up and over this hill. Because if we kept sloping downwards, even with the straight piece, we would have ended up running into the hill. Because look how close we are with this. It's like, I mean, it works. It does work. Actually, might put... Let's see. I actually might put a, a bit of foundation underneath this particular section. So the way we do that... Architecture. Okay, we gotta remove this curve here. Don't worry, I can put it back. It's no big deal. Take this, snap it onto the end. Foundation, two meter. that and then we're gonna do like that like that oh whoops hold on so put that there but I'm gonna snap it in place and then one two three four because it'll be half the foundation which will put it right at the edge ah should have had it on zoop Yeah, it's like I think it's a, I think it's four. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll build a little uh, we'll build a little bridge right here. Um, let's see. Uh, in order to do that, we have to do. Texture frame. Ah, you bastard. Still don't get that, why we can't nudge four meters. Or why the nudge is so short. They, they never have explained that yet. Why the, why the nudge is so short, why you can't you nudge further. Like, I, I mean... I'm not saying that it's that, that there's no reason for it that it has there has to be a nudge that goes further. I just uh, it's just strange. Uh, I don't know. Okay, and then we'll put like a little it's like yeah, where's my supports? There. There. That piece. This one's going to be slightly different. That's it, because it's only a, it's only a little bridge. two pieces here. That as well. Uh, 
What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use these here. gonna put a wall eh. doesn't really fit let me see what I can do with this here okay so there is that one Got all of uh, got all of our supports in place up to our bridge, and I just decided to concrete the rest of this. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I don't know. There's a few spots in here that could use a little bit of a. I don't know. I'll just leave it. It's fine. But yeah, then we're gonna go this way, and we're going to put our station somewhere over here. <laughs> This looks like a pretty good spot right here, just this nice flat area. Um, I think it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this sulfur here. But yeah, we need to be able to put a 10 car train station in this area, so. Hopefully we can. Hopefully I put this up high enough. Let's see. Looks like the buses can be there. Five and then the center one. One, two, three. Put up a couple more here. Get over. Just a nice solid steel base, I think. Oh, uh, we'll do. Get rid of these stupid trees. this. Oh yeah, using the gun. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay. So then I'll bring this to here, I think. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so... Yep. So that'll be our train station there. I'm just gonna pop this down, because there's a little little thing we could do. Um, so we put that down, right? Then we need fluid. Uh, fluid freight platform. Put one of these down. this because it's not connected anymore. Well, sometimes it'll reconnect itself, but sometimes it won't. <laughs> it's just how it goes. Alright, now we gotta do a 10 car train uh, right here. Hopefully that archway won't get in the way. Oh, that archway's totally getting in the way. <laughs> right, we'll see. Okay, so now that our train station is in place, uh, we got our 10 cars. Uh, eight, nine, and ten, and then plus the two engines, which are at the end here. Now that we've got that in place, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we could signal it up, I suppose. Let's get this train down here. 
This isn't going to be the train, but I, I want to make sure that everything fits uh, while using a 10 car train here. I have to do two engines on these because when they're fully loaded, they do not work. <laughs> they just, man. Oh yeah, look at this, beautiful. Just, just fits, man. It just fits. Same with this bridge here. It just fits. Just like. Ooh, you slide a piece of paper in there. That's about it. <laughs> uh, then underneath here, it's pretty good. Yeah. I completely forgot to actually put the signals down, so let's back, <laughs> back it up, back it up. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to put signals down. Uh, at least not here, anyway. We'll have to put the signal down right before this curve, maybe? Yeah, that'd be a pretty good spot. Yeah, let's put the block signals here. So here and here. That works there, okay. And then at the other end, signal here. And that should be that. I would think, anyway. It's like, because I can't put a block signal in, but I don't think I can put a block signal anywhere between there. It, it doesn't really matter, it's just the, the train is just uh, a 10 car train, and it, it's probably, it's going to be the only one, so... Let's go ahead and paint these. Whoops. Have that wrong. They need to go the other way. It actually needs to be like this, right? Is that the color we're going for? I forgot. I'll paint it later. Um, but the one thing I do want to do is I kind of wanted to make this train station a little bit... Uh, kind of a little bit unique, I suppose. Um... Which I already have a plan for, it's just I just need to do it, I think. Um, foundations. So one of the things that, I, that I've done in the past is I've taken these uh, these things here. Right. And of course, this one doesn't exist there. Um, it will in a moment, so we can zoop it, but take this and then we zoop this all the way down like this and it just looks so good <laughs> it looks really good like that okay now I'll have a foundation there now this side is gonna have it all the way across Yeah, it just really puts a, an interesting look onto the train station itself. Okay. Alright, so the two end ones aren't going to exist. That's fine. And then we do foundation. We gotta do a half four meter. I think a half four meter, actually. Um, actually, let's do this side and see what it looks like. Yeah. That's the one.
Yeah, that's looking pretty good, actually. I like this. Really gives a unique look here. Yeah, makes the train station all one solid piece, basically. Okay, however, this foundation will be going across here on the other end. And the reason is because we're going to put a wall in here. So I'm going to do is I'm going to... Sorry, uh, well, it's a wall, but it's a door as well. Yeah. So we're putting a door right there. To... We're going to put it right in the middle. And it's going to be the same on this one. One, two. Just right in the middle. Go to the other end and do the same thing. To make it look good. Plus, it's like consistent, you know. So this is going to be a wall, so... Um, yep, yeah, just a normal, standard wall. 4 5. You go up 1, 2. Yep, yeah, just like that. Perfect. way, one more that way, right. so yeah, the front and the back is going to be the same. But we're actually going to have uh, windows on this one. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to turn this all into steel wall, steel wall, and yeah, we'll do four meter, okay, four meter be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to, actually, I need to move this out one more, don't I? Yeah, this side needs to be one more, I think. And the reason that is, is because I need, uh, I need room in between the tanks here. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, then we'll take our four meter wall. Stick this here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, that didn't work. And it's gonna have to go way more than that. How many I'm gonna need here? Let's see. Let's start this in. So one, two, four, five, six. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, cool. Seven. And then on the back sides of these, we're going to be putting one of these. Just gonna put it on default. Uh, 
I don't know where that went. Where the heck did that wall go? Oh, there it is. I don't know why that decided to go there. Very strange. Okay. Then we just basically repeat this pattern. Like this. Until either you hit that wall or you hit the ceiling limit. Yeah, there's gonna be a bit of an archway in our building. Nothing I can really do about that though. I can't. I can't get rid of the archway. <laughs> Probably could have built it in a slightly better spot, but. Okay, so that's the ceiling limit there then. You can't go any higher than that. next one I believe it's just trying to remember too high. Oh yeah, and we do put these here. That's right, yeah. yeah, if it doesn't hit the edge wall, then it goes, then it flattens back out. Okay, so, uh, yep, we'll do that to the rest of these and get this all, uh, ready to go. Okay, so now we have that. Um, now we need to do the fun thing. Um, hopefully I didn't do this incorrectly. No, I'm pretty sure I did, but... Uh, it, I, I'm sure I did do it correctly. But <laughs> hopefully I didn't do this incorrectly. I'm sure I did do it incorrectly. No. Uh, so steel wall. Now we're going to take these um, these uh, window frame. I think it is the window frames. Is that the ones we use? Yeah. No, it is these ones. I wish there was a... The window, um, the full window, was just a piece of glass without the uh, without the bits added to it. I think that would be much better. But yeah, we're just going to use the open windows here. So we're going to zoop it. And we're just going to do this. Do that. Do that. And do that. Where did it end? Right there. Okay. It's going to be 24, right? 24. Oh, this one didn't get put in. What happened? Good heck. I just must have missed it. It's fine. Yeah, we just drag this across. Six. Oh no, it's sixteen. That's right. Yeah. Or twenty-six. There we go. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. So yeah, now that you have this right here, uh, you can pick where you want your door. But I'm gonna put a double door in. 
I'm actually going to get rid of this, this, these four pieces here. Then we're going to do a wall, uh, the wall, and then we're going to grab this door here. Just like this. And there we go. So there's that. Yeah, doesn't it look pretty cool? I think that looks cool. Now that I'm not done yet, but that is, uh, is basically the gist of it. And then uh, for the rest of this, um, we're going to go back to uh, back to this. And then we're going to have to put, that's right, we have to put these on top. I think, right? Yeah, it'd be nice if they had uh, triangle windows. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a, another thing. You can't make triangle windows. You can make them look like windows, but you can't make them. No, you, you can't make them look like windows. You have to put. You'd have to build, basically build it. Um, so yeah, for the rest of this, we just put. Let's see. We drag this all the way across. I mean, we could have flat sections, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? Let's have some flat sections. Eh. Yeah, it's fine. That way we keep with uh, the aesthetic. But yeah, basically we go one more. That. Okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Dang it, stop falling off the edge. Okay. Yep, and then for this side, we just go this way. We'll just drag it across. That's alright. Okay, so then uh, I just gotta do this to the other side uh, of the factory. You know, this, uh, this wall over here. Except for I won't be putting a door on this side. It'll just be a flat wall. I'm actually gonna get rid of this tree here as well. Maybe both these trees. There we go. And that one there too. That'll work. What are you still guarding? There's nothing here to guard anymore, I... Thought I'd get rid of you. That's a good way to run out of ammo. <laughs> good way to run out of ammo in this game is by you by uh, using your ammo. <laughs> that makes sense. And yeah, we'll drag this all the way across down to the bottom. Yeah, just like that. there drag this across here all right so now we just got to do that same what we did over there on this side of the wall okay so now that we have that completed and we have power now is which is nice uh, because this train station is connected to our system over there um now we just got to do the roof uh roof is uh, no big deal of course uh it's all gonna be i think we're gonna yeah, we're going to do glass in certain spots and not in others, maybe. Because we do have glass roofs. Um, was it under? Architecture? Yes. That is it. Glass roof. Here we go. Okay. Uh, and these are four meter. 
you. Six crossed. Eh. Oh my gosh, doing this is going to be impossible. <laughs> You know what I am going to do, though, is we're going to do uh, a steel roof over the non-glass versions. Yeah, that, that could be kind of cool. Just mixing, mixing roof material. natural light in here. I'm actually glad that the uh, steel roof ended up in the archway. It's just some, it's something we can't really avoid unless we move the entire train station. So. Yeah, that's just how that goes. bit of wind. I got my window open. <laughs> I took all the air conditioners out of uh, out of my house and now we're working on uh, you know working on uh, the winter season coming up so getting everything done for that. Yeah that looks pretty good. I don't know about the mix. Uh, I might change that later. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, for the next little portion of this, we are going to be doing glass walls. Um, right to, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we just do glass walls on these little sections here. Just like that. We could do, um, hold on. Hey, you know what? We'll, we'll do steel walls. Like this, yes. That'll look much better, I think, than having glass and then steel and then glass and then steel. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Ah! <laughs> Deleted the thing I was standing on. Okay. So yeah, let me fix that and then we'll uh, finish up this entire room here. Which will be nice. Alrighty. Now that the roof is done, we've got all of this all the way across here. Got that all the way done. Looking good, looking good. I don't know how we're going to do the pipes. I think we need to expand this out another, like, two foundations. Because we're going to need to have room for, like, all the pipe work and stuff. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So expand it out. Two more foundations. Then, oops. S ah, stop. Get over there. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Oh yeah. Things are starting to get a little deep over here. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. That looks kind of cool under the water though. Look, I mean, look, look at this. Look. That looks really cool under the water. They did a really good job with the water. And we still need to find a place for our, um, uh, whatchamacallit, for our, uh, our tower. That's gonna be interesting. 
Um, so basically, I'm going to have an oil tower. All the oil is going to be pumped to this tower, and then it's going to come into the uh, into the train station. I think that'd be really cool. All right, but uh, yeah. Um, with that, I think that is going to be it uh, for this episode. Of Satisfactory. We uh, we got started on it. We got a decent amount done as far as um, as far as this kind of stuff goes. Let's get to finish this bridge real quick. Um, so next time we'll work on the actual um, we'll work on the actual tower uh, portion. Okay. Uh, get the tower set up and whatnot. It's a little, yeah, it's a little deep. Turn on the blueprint mode. Okay. Right, look at this one. Ooh, yeah, we're good. Okay. But yeah, we'll finish it, or we're, uh, we'll build the oil tower and whatnot, so... That should be pretty darn cool. Actually, I have an idea for it. Um, I think that I'm going to use. I've, I've built it before as well, so... Yeah, from this bridge, we're going to... Yeah, slope on down that way. Okay. That works there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with that though, with that explosion, um, like I said, that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. So uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Oh, and before you go, I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of the investors you can see here. Seriously, thank you. You guys are awesome. It is much appreciated. And until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. <laughs>